Hey guys, I'm Nate. We're out here building our new van and we wanted to start a new video series showing you how we do our plumbing. Big thanks to Camping World for providing some of these products and sponsoring this video. So first today we're going to install our fresh water system. That includes our 40 gallon tank. We have a SureFlow 12 volt water pump. It's uh, four gallons per minute. That includes the strainer in the box, which is nice. And we also have a silencer kit from SureFlow that we'll show you how to install. We'll link all those products in the description. So come check it out. Okay, so first we're gonna be hooking up our city water feed and that'll be used to fill our tank. So we pre-drilled this hole to accept our water fill inlet right here. And then we're gonna attach the hose that's gonna run inside to the tank so we can fill our tank from the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through here right now and just have it come out the bottom. For the back of this, I'm gonna use an elbow. This is a nylon elbow with half inch male NPT on one side and then a hose barb on the other. And we'll attach that to the hose barb using a hose clamp. Um, but first I'll pre-install it on the back of this. We want it facing down when I'm using plastic fittings and just slowly get it on there. And you don't want to over crank it either. You damage the, the threads on there, but the plastic should fit in pretty snug to make a nice seal. Be careful because these are some sharp threads on the inside of this fitting. So you want to take it slow. Don't crank down too hard. I think that might be about good. So I'm going to point it down there. Put the hose clamp on first. I'm just going to use a screwdriver to tighten this one up. Good and snug on there. And then we'll go ahead and feed it down in there. So for our water fill and for the tank vent, this is the breather tube for the tank. Um, I'm going to have them coming out of the same hole at the bottom here. So I'm going to pre-assemble this as well. And this is what is going to filter any debris, bugs, or anything like that um, from getting sucked back inside the tank. So I'm going to put another clamp on here, pre-install that, and get it tight on there. Alright, so I have that installed on one side, and then I could feed this side through into the van along with the water fill. So I'll do those at the same time. If you reach down uh, under the bumper here on the metal frame of the van, there's actually a big hole in the van with a rubber little entry gland. It's used for wiring and such. It's a wire going through here right now, but yeah, that, that rubber just pops right off. And I'm gonna use that to feed these hoses through to the inside of the van. All right, so we fed everything up there. Probably gonna need a hand to feed it through. We got this hanging down just a little bit. I'm gonna shove that in there a bit more and hide it in the bumper. And we have just enough slack on this to maneuver it. Um, so now I'm gonna push it up in there and put that gasket back on and we should be all set. All right, so for our fresh water system, we're using a SureFlow pump. This is a 12 volt pump with four gallon per minute flow. Um, this is the 4048 model. Um, you can get this at Camping World. Uh, this is kind of an upgrade from our last van. It might be a little overkill, but we're gonna probably be happy with it with the pressure, with our shower and everything too. So gonna go ahead and install this. I ran the 12 volt wire, um, 12 gauge, all the way from our panel over here. So I'm running that and the water lines and I'm gonna get that installed right on this panel. And that'll be within our bench area. All right, so we got our tank dry fitted in the place we want it. Put some brackets on the floor to keep it from shifting around. Um, and now we're gonna take a look at our fittings and make sure everything's tight and we're gonna test it before we install everything. Um, so what we put here, this is for the tank vent. So this will go to the breather tube that goes outside the van. Um, what I've been doing is giving it an upward angle as it comes out and then also giving it a little bit of a race up to the top here, just about a foot or so, so that um, water just doesn't come out but it has room to breathe and if it uh, overflows when you're filling it, it'll just come out the outside of the van. These are all half inch MPT ports. So we just use these elbows, these nylon elbows that have a hose barb on one side. So we'll use that to connect these with the hose clamps. And we have that for the breather tube and for the fill. This is a one and a half inch NPT port. So we use the PVC bushing for that, which is just one and a half inch to half inch. And then that threads right onto this. And then that goes on here. And then for the outlet, to our pump and the rest of the system. We just use a half inch hex nipple right here. 
So that's just half inch threaded on both sides. We're also gonna be using some PEX fittings. This is the poly PEX fittings. They usually come in like five packs. And all these again, especially since they're plastic on plastic, we're just gonna hand tighten all these. So I'll get them to where I want them and then we'll test them and make sure everything's tight and watertight. And then we can bring it back in here and connect everything uh, permanently. So we're gonna fill this up and check all of our fittings before we actually install it in the van. So I'm doing this outside. There's also a little bit of uh, plastic shavings left in the tank, so this would be a good time to empty all that out as well. Here we go. All right, so we got everything hand tightened on here. Pretty snug with a little bit of room to tighten if we need. Um, and we're gonna flip it over with the water here and test it out. That one looks good. I'm try this side. Just checking for any small drips on the bottom there. I don't see anything now. Alright, so it all looks pretty good. Could also do some minor adjustments while it's in there, but it looks good for now. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this out and install it in the bin. It's a good time to water your grass. You know, just take a walk around. You're good. <laughs> So the cool thing about the way we set this up is that um, all these fittings here that are a bit more fixed with these elbows are actually at the top of the tank so they won't really see a whole lot of pressure. So our initial leak test will probably be good to go with these. Um, the one at the bottom is going to see a lot of pressure, this is a 40 gallon tank so what we have is our PEC swivel elbow that will go on there that has a seal. So it's got a nice seal on it, we've leak tested that. Um, but this leaves a lot more room for uh, adjustment after it's all installed. So if you do see a small drip, um, you can adjust this. We're installing everything just over the factory floor. We don't have any insulation. Um, so one of the things we did was just add this neoprene. It's half inch, um, so that'll keep it a little bit insulated from the bottom. So we put that down first, and then now we're just going to put the tank on top. And we added these brackets there, so it'll just pop right in place. Right up against the wheel well there and there's also going to be insulation in this wheel well and there's another half inch sheet of that neoprene so that'll keep it nice and insulated from the wheel well as well we also have our sender and this will send the level of the tank to our system so we can monitor how much water we have so we pre-installed that so next we're going to insulate this wall with wool before we put the cabinet in over this tank and then everything will be set in place So uh, we've already determined where this is going to sit on our cabinet unit here um, and I kind of pre-marked it there so I'm going to go ahead and pre-install this so it's a little bit easier to get to. You obviously want to make sure you have enough room for all of your fittings. Um, we're going to be doing some more plumbing while we're in there with the tool so make sure you got enough room to work around everything. So we're just going to wire up this pump. So I'll go ahead and strip off that outer jacket. And we are using these Anchor heat shrink connectors. So this is the power supply coming from our battery system. We're gonna put these female quick disconnects on that end for the pump, male quick disconnects. And those match the wire gauge for here. This is 14 gauge wire, this is 12 gauge. So we'll use those two to connect them. Just go. About halfway on that. Strip this one back. And on this wire, the yellow indicates the negative. Black and yellow for DC systems are kind of interchangeable. Put that terminal in there and go ahead and crimp that down. Give it a little pull test, make sure we're good. And we'll do the same thing on this wire. Looks good. And now we'll do this side. So now we'll take our heat gun and seal these up. We don't have this wire connected to the power supply yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this connection. The so marine code has changed to allow yellow for negative, 
So you could differentiate from AC and DC wiring. So this would be DC negative yellow, and then uh, your AC hot is usually black, so that's why they use these yellows now. So this works, it's, a, it's called a safety wire. And so you could either use this or you could use red and black if you want, but this way it works right here. This positive as well, make sure it goes right into that. And that's all you gotta do. We've left this one a little bit long, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this back. So this is a half inch braided nylon tubing. This is a number six hose clamp. So that fits nicely right on there. I'm gonna go ahead and push it into that fitting and then use a quarter inch socket to tighten that up right on the hose. All right. And then we're gonna also put this vent tube in here. Same thing, that number six hose clamp. This vent tube is very important for this tank, especially since we're filling with a, a hose with city water. We have a lot of pressure coming in here. And if the tank has no room to breathe, especially a large tank like this, um, it will either collapse or explode or basically just bust all your fittings. So this is half inch, um, same as the outlet and inlet. So we've got plenty of breathing room there. So you could have your fill to or your um, tank vent just point directly up, but if you're overfilling your tank, that's just gonna overflow all inside the, inside the van. So that's why we have this coming outside the van. And then we're ready to install the actual pump lines here. So what we're gonna do is use this SureFlow silencer kit. So this is two nylon braided tubes to ensure that you're not gonna get a whole lot of uh, noise from vibration because this thing will vibrate. It's on some rubber boots here, so it's gonna be a little bit absorbed from that. But if you had rigid tube coming from here to here, um, it tends to get a little noisy, so that's why they provide these. And we're using PEX fittings on all these as well. Um, all these have seals in here. So they're actually for straight fittings, but you could use tapered fittings as well. And the cool thing about this pump is that it actually comes with this strainer that has this swivel adapter on it. So if you are connecting this directly to your pump, which we're actually gonna attach it here, but if you were to put directly on your pump, you can tighten it like this, and then you could orient it whichever way while still keeping it tight, and that way, if when you go to clean the strainer out, it's going to be on the bottom here, so you could just remove it like that and it won't be upside down. So I highly recommend these, but this one actually comes with the 4048 pump, which is nice. So again, these are straight fittings instead of tapered, so these are NPS threads. And the reason that these PEX fittings work with that is because they have that seal in there. So this is kind of nice if you need elbows coming out, makes your plumbing a little bit tighter. So we're actually using these PEX swivel elbows on either side of the pump. This side's gonna shoot straight up and this side will accept one of these tubes. So we'll show you how we put it together here. So straight out of the tank, we're using that half inch NPT hex nipple. So it's half inch on each side. And then we'll use that swivel elbow on there. And then from there, we're going to want to put a ball valve so you can close on and off the flow to the pump. If you need to do any maintenance on the pump, you can shut the water and remove the pump without water coming out. And what you're going to do is just keep this as short as possible. So we'll make a mark there. Obviously leave room so these don't touch. Mark that. Stick one in on here, and there's actually an arrow for the flow, so we're going to want to turn that around. Stick it on there, and then we're using these PEX pinch rings with a pinch ring tool. So we'll put those on there first, put both sides on, and then we can insert this side. And when you're making your crimps with your PEX rings, make sure that you leave about an eighth inch or so from the end of the pipe. 
And this is a nice tool. It's a ratcheting PEX ring tool. So you get it nice and tight on there where you want it. And then you can crank it down. And there's an LED light right here that actually indicates when you're fully seated. It'll light up. So you can let go and release the tool. And you got a nice solid crimp. We'll do the same on this one. Paying attention to the direction of flow on here, there's an arrow um, that's going to be pointed towards the pump. Um, and this is definitely important to keep any debris out of the pump. With these tubes, you want to have a loop in it if possible. That helps reduce the noise. So we're going to use it in this orientation. And we've put that MPT adapter there. And this swivels as well, so all this stuff is pretty adjustable, which is really nice. So we're going to use this assembly here. Use another piece of PEX to attach that side, and then this will go to the pump. So we'll put one more right here. Just get it all kind of lined up here. That looks pretty good. Now we can take this other adapter and this elbow and make that connection with PEX as well. So this is the side that's going to connect to the inlet of the pump. Again, there's a direction of flow, you'll see an arrow on actually the top here. You can't see it right now, but we've oriented that in the correct way to go from the tank out to the system. So this is going to be the inlet to the pump. Go ahead and hand tighten that on there. Attach that as well. Again, just hand tighten snug. Um, I don't like to drill unnecessary holes in the bottom of the van if I could help it. So. If you ever want to drain the tank, you could actually just disconnect this after you turn the valve off, of course. And then you could direct this to the outside of the van. And you could drain your tank just like that, which is nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool, guys. Now, this is kind of just free flow in here. So what I'm going to do, especially to keep it from rattling against the tank, I'm just going to tie that to this hose right here. And everything is nice and secure. And next we're going to connect the outlet of the pump. So that's what's going to be coming out of the other side of the pump. And we can connect it to this hose. So when we're ready to fill this, we could do a full test and come back here with paper towel or something and make sure we can not see any drips coming out of these. All right, so we got a big roll of PEX tube here. I'm going to use this to get all the way to where the rest of our plumbing will be under the sink. We have that going to our water heater as well. So I'm going to make about four feet or so. And so again, this is going to go right on the hose barb here, the PEX barb adapter to the MPT. pretty good to me. All right, so we'll leave off there. Um, hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos in the series where we'll show you how to connect our sink, our heater, as well as our shower. We'll do all the plumbing for that. So stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks for watching.